in 2010, I was invited to be a guest artist in a street art workshop during the Nelson Arts Festival. The workshop took place at Founders Park and about a dozen local young talent got involved. Well, during the festivities I made three artworks. One of these was titled Smacked Art in Aotearoa. At the time there was a nationwide debate going on about the rights of parents to smack the children. So I took an image of this and connected it to the history of graffiti art and the good things about it being seen in a bad light. That is until the term street art became common and gave the practice back its dignity. And that brought a lot of artists out of the shadow of lawbreakers. Plus we were able to side with the good company of other contemporaries, like uh, performers and musicians. In some weird way, um, smacked art was about reboot the system. I displayed the piece temporarily in a few public spaces around the district and online, but I never really got any positive feedback about it, so it got shoved into the garage. So one day recently I thought the art panel could serve a higher purpose and become the floor of an outside toilet house I was building over top of a compost chamber. I thought it perfect. The art would become like a footnote lid over gardener's gold. Yeah, that's the idea of a bioloo to eventually recover the waste as rich soil. The shape of smacked art in Aotearoa had drastically changed, yet the character of its remaining parts had reset its attraction and a meaningful story.